that works. Okay, now I've just got to figure out what our answers are to our two truths and one lie, my tenth document. Oh, there are no answers there yet. Luisi is currently tallying things up frantically as she goes. We'll put them in a minute before we go back. Let's see if these have come back. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get a Ronald. Ronald has had a very poor TV series, I would say. I think he's done a particularly hapless job at finding anything useful. He did watch the dear, dearly beloved water monitor go swimming past a little earlier, but it was at such a distance that you would never have been able to see it. And... That's about all he's seen. There was a terrapin there at the very beginning of the drive, but right now, very little at all. I must say, I'm very irritated by these bees because they are not playing ball. Let's just move Ronald slightly. Oh, he's doing a little pirouette for you, everybody. The clouds are sort of starting to gather now, which is not ideal. But I was rather hoping those zebra and impala would come down because this is the same waterhole, of course, that Taylor was at. Anyway, nothing has come to see poor old hapless Ronald today, so we'll move him a little closer to the water, I feel. Not too much closer to the water. <gasps> There's a bit of a delay, so you never really know how far Ronald is actually going to go. Good. Right, how long have we got, Kirsten? We've got 90 seconds to coax these fellows out. Little bees, little bees, would you come out to see us? Little bees, little bees, we want to put you on TV, because B rhymes with TV, and so does the word C. Okay, good, we've got answers now. And, well, there is a B actually coming out. And you